give you light A million stories forever you write The shaken world, we discover new meaning Losing myself since we stopped breathing A halo on the chosen My oh my how we have fallen Hello Sagittarius. This is Inspire 2016 with your monthly tarot reading for the month of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, your condition at present. Your card is. The Seven of Wands. The situation in your life is unpleasant. You may have conflicts with others or there is someone acting against you. You may be in a situation that you have to compete with others which you will overcome. You will have luck in work but in exchange of your best effort and tiredness. However, others will accept your capability. For finance, you still have a cash flow issue but you can manage it properly. For love, you may have some conflicts with your lover. If you are single and have a crush on someone, you should try harder to be fulfilled. This card indicates a struggle after initial satisfaction and fulfillment. This time, however, the struggle is about maintaining your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. The Seven of Wands can also indicate a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The second card for you is representing, the immediate challenge or problem that you'll be facing. Your card is, 
the Ace of Cups. You will gain new friendship and start to do a job you love but there is no outstanding progress at this time. You have to keep waiting. For love, you have a chance to find new love but it is uncertain whether you will be fulfilled. If you are single, you may meet someone and feel fresh again. The situation at this time is simple with no outstanding change, neither on work nor finance. You had better keep cool and be patient. For work, if you are an artist, you will have a chance to demonstrate your artwork or creative ideas. But if you are working in other fields, you may feel bored, as there is no challenge at this time. You need to curb your emotions somewhat for your greater benefit. For example, ending a relationship may spur you on to wanting to cry and cry for days on end but what the Ace of Cups tells you is that in order to heal, you really need to push back the tears and fight on in order to retain a balance. Try not to let your emotions get the better of you or take an unhealthy hold of your life. Sometimes it is possible to express ourselves too much, and in doing so, share our vulnerabilities or worse, attack the vulnerabilities of others. Find ways to constructively express what you feel so that you can continue through life with a more balanced perspective. Alternatively, the Ace of Cups could suggest that you have repressed your feelings too long and it is now the time to release them. You may have bottled up so many emotions that you have become almost void of feeling true emotions and instead feel a general numbness inside. In a relationship reading, the Ace of Cups can indicate that you are withholding your emotions, for fear of getting hurt. You know that in order for the relationship to move forward and flow freely you must eventually trust in your partner but for the time being, you are holding back. You may also be experiencing a roller coaster ride when it comes to your emotional well-being. There are so many ups and downs in your life that sometimes you do not know if you are coming or going. Life has become emotionally exhausting and now your energy is running out. You need to look after your emotional health. Be conscious about how you are feeling and how this may be impacting your responses and reactions. The third card for you is representing, your goal, aspiration or best outcome with regards to your situation. Your card is, the four of wands. You may desire to have your own business. And if you decide to do so, you must be patient and continue your effort. Then, you will be successful in the future. Overall, your work is stable and smooth though the progress is slow. For finance, you will earn enough money to spend as you wish. For love, if you have a lover, you will understand each other well. You may spend time traveling together. Your relationship will be stronger and more pleasant. If you are single and have someone coming into your life, try to talk to him or her and go out together. However, the relationship will not be certain. This card also heralds celebration, good times, a happy and harmonious home environment and good news. You are now enjoying a period of happiness and stability. This card indicates a sense of harmony and balance as well as completion, and thus symbolizes a time of peace and joy in life that come as the result of often difficult and challenging effort. The Four of Wands is one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck and indicates general good fortune, satisfaction, and fulfillment. With the Four of Wands, it is the perfect time to get together with your family and friends and to celebrate all the wonderful times that you have had together. Often, this card reflects the holiday period where you get together with the extended family and join in a celebration. Alternatively, it may be as simple as inviting your closest friends over for an intimate dinner and a few glasses of nice wine. The Four of Wands often points to a marriage, engagement, birth of a child, a birthday, graduation or other type of celebration that marks a special milestone. 
If you have been working on a project, you will reach an important milestone and will have cause to celebrate. You have completed a significant phase of the project and can feel very proud of what you have accomplished so far. This card augurs a time of joy and satisfaction in life and represents the personal gratification of a job well done, a goal attained, and a vision beginning to be realized. Given the Four of Wands is closely associated with the home environment, you may be working on improving or renovating your home. You may have recently purchased a new home or are very close to finding a new home and getting ready to settle down in your new environment. The Four of Wands indicates peace, harmony and tranquility. You may find a refuge from the turmoils of life, perhaps by meeting someone new in a romantic setting, or by finding a new place to live that is away from it all. If you have been experiencing any disagreements with others, now will be the time to make a peace offering and instead focus on creating harmony in the relationship. The Four of Wands provides encouragement when things seem too daunting. The card serves as a reminder that most things in life do not come easily, and so when you do accomplish a major milestone, you should be proud of everything that you have achieved. The Four of Wands is also representative of move from one stage to another, and moving past mistakes and challenges to a place of peace, acceptance and happiness. The fourth card for you is representing, issues from the past that have led to your current situation. Your card is, the King of Pentacles. You may have had more progress and security in your life, overall. You may have felt satisfied at a certain level but not an ultimate one. For work, you may have got promoted or salary increase or been trusted by your senior at work. You may have taken more responsibilities which made you feel overload. If you have your own business, you may have expanded positively, had strong customer base, gained higher profit or got dividend from your asset investment. This card often indicates the final fulfillment of a creative task, business venture, or investment. Through diligence, responsibility and attention to detail you have achieved great things and can finally say that you have completed your task or attained your goal. You can now enjoy all that you have accomplished and the successes you have created. You have created a richness of life not just financially but also spiritually, which will set you up very well for the future. Whenever you need the skills to manage your day-to-day -day affairs competently and efficiently, you can call upon the King of Pentacles. Work hard, methodically and conscientiously. Give generously of your time and resources, because by giving you often receive more, and making more money is something that all kings of pentacles love to do. This king is business oriented and highly enterprising. He becomes thoroughly engaged in any activity that provides the ability to generate more wealth or more business. He is able to make any venture successful and can find a business opportunity almost anywhere. He can take an idea and make it work financially. He is a natural-born manager and business person. The King of Pentacles indicates that a methodical, planned and well-thought-out approach will lead you to success. Many consider the King of Pentacles to be dull and unimaginative but this is a likely consequence of his preference to do things in the most tried and tested way. You have experimented in the past with what works best and have landed on your own methods and practices that you know will continue to work for you in the future. So, you continue down this path rather than trying new ways of doing things. You know that you have reached the height of achievement and you do not need to take any more risks. The King of Pentacles also calls on you to be pragmatic and to stay informed on practical matters. You need to get down to the basics and use your problem-solving ability to get to a solution. You also need to be able to leverage your various skills and resources in order to create success. 
This king can also play the political game well, interacting comfortably with everyone, no matter what his or her status. The king of pentacles reminds you to remember that appreciating the sensual, luxurious side to life often makes life more pleasurable. As such, this king is about quality over quantity, and learning to enjoy full and joyful life. He is not afraid to spend money when appropriate so that he can generate much joy and benefit from life. The fifth card for you is representing, your subconscious realm. The underlying feelings and trends associated with your current situation. Your card is, the Knight of Cups. There may have been a slow change in your situation. If you run a business, you may feel bored with your employee due to their laziness or not hard working. For finance, you may have had enough money to spend though not much. Thus, you should be thrifty. You may have received news from your old friends and have a reunion meeting again. For love, there will be someone younger coming into your life. If you are a man and like someone, you have to try your best to win her heart as the possibility to be fulfilled is not fully 100%. Overall, this card can manifest as an event, a person in your life, or as a part of yourself. The Knight of the Cups often appears as a messenger, an invitation or the arrival of someone or something with an emotional benefit. He offers an interesting invitation, which will result in an emotional experience that will bring high energy and lift you to an exhilarating state as new situations appear from nowhere. In addition to the physical sources of information, the Knight of Cups can also represent wisdom that comes from your dreams and that helps you to surmount life's obstacles. The Knight of Cups represents the undertaking of the creative adventure hinted at in the Page of Cups. Whereas the page encounters the mystical fish out of the golden cup and is thus initially inspired with creativity, the knight has already encountered his inspiration and is about to undertake the journey of imagination and creativity to which the unconscious has impelled him. If you are about to start a new creative project, direct your imagination into the real world. True imagination feeds on action thus if you do nothing with your dreams they will remain vague and unrelated to the rest of your life. The Knight of Cups brings a warning about getting too caught up in fantasy and the romanticism of life. Fantasy excites but it lacks any real meaning as you deny your basic commitment to the world and your imagination produces nothing. Be open to exploring your passions and your grand ideas at this time. You may find that you have been drawn to a particular passion or hobby and now is the time to start turning into something. You do not need to go at a cracking pace but it is important to balance your ideas with action and ensure that you are taking proactive steps to achieve your goals and ambitions. The sixth card for you is representing your immediate future. Your card is The Magician. There will be new projects waiting for you in the future. You will have a good opportunity at work. If you are not too sluggish, these new experiences in life will be very useful to you. You will have a chance to meet new people, or receive news about work though it will not be much explicit. This is a good time to plan for your future and start to take action. The successful future will certainly be waiting for you. You may receive some good advices or ideas from seniors. There will be good things waiting for you in the future. If you have any stress at this time, try to relax as the situation will better and will return to a normal one soon. You have the creative power and energy to create a new life cycle for yourself. You have the ability to take the power of the universe and manifest your desires. The Magician card suggests that a situation has been, or soon will be, presented to you that has all the inherent components to allow the manifestation of your desires. Those desires may be spiritual, physical, emotional, or mental. You have the ability to make it happen. 
With the Magician card, you are inspired to apply skill and initiative to accomplish all your goals. You have a strong desire to begin something new, to do, act, or go forth. A can-do attitude and strong sense of optimism will dominate a new beginning and thus the decisions that you make will have positive results. The Magician card sees you creating success in everything that you do. This is a card about manifesting your goals by utilizing the skills, tools and resources that are available to you. The Magician suggests that you will come up with creative ways to solve problems and you will be able to use your existing knowledge and networks to arrive at solutions. The Magician card is a good omen when you have a specific wish, when you begin a project involving creativity, or when you need to make a transformation of any kind. This is a great card for meditation when you need to call all the elements for help and wisdom. The Magician card indicates that you can benefit from your creative forces if you can claim your power and act with awareness and concentration. This card is a signal to act consciously and act now provided you understand exactly what you want and are committed to getting it. You need to know what you are doing and why you are doing it. Be clear about your underlying motives and intentions. The Magician is also a card of deep concentration on a specific task or activity. You need to be focused on a single goal or purpose at this time and you need to channel all of your energy, tools and resources towards this one goal. Commitment to the task is essential and as such, you will need to eliminate any distractions that will take your focus away from what you want to achieve. The Magician shows that you are doing a great job at pulling together all of the skills, resources and tools that are available to you in order to bring about an outcome that suits you. You are keeping a very pragmatic head about you and you are trying to remain as objective and can do as possible, even if you are worried on the inside. Keep this up as it will help you to create as much success as possible. Keep thinking about what other skills and resources you can use and keep focused on the task at hand. The seventh card for you is representing, the advice for you or what approach can be taken to address your current challenges. Your card is, the Page of Swords. During this time, you may experience a lot of stress and have to do things carefully. You may be dissatisfied with situations around you. However, you should control your emotion as you may be annoyed all the time. Also be careful of making mistakes at work and try to work more carefully. For finance, you should spend money more carefully as well. Overall, you should not be careless in doing anything during this time. Try to lower your hot-tempered emotion and apply reasons over emotions. The Page of Swords is almost like a green light to say, go for it. There are always going to be challenges with whatever option you choose and not everyone is going to be happy with your choices but when it comes down to it, you need to follow your passions and go where your true energy lies. This page encourages you to move forward and to get the wheels in motion despite any challenges or setbacks that may potentially stand in the way. This card shows you as a young and idealistic person, with lots of plans and ideas for the future. At this moment, you feel as though you could do almost anything. As a page, you are just beginning to make your way in life, and it is important that you align with others who will not overwhelm you or stifle your direction and ideas. Instead, seek to align yourself with people who will nurture your ideas and will help you to manifest them in an organized manner. Choose a relationship that feels natural, with someone who will learn and grow along with you and give you a chance to develop your own personality and expression. You have an intelligent and sensitive nature, and you may suffer a lot if there is no outlet for your ideas and feelings. The Page of Swords is also all about communication, information and ideas. This card is an indication that you need to appreciate and communicate ideas, information and theories. 
these ideas, information and theories may be your own or someone else's. It does not really matter, so long as you are involved in talking, sharing and conversing with others about these ideas. You are always coming up with something new and then finding someone to share it with. You also have a way with words, being a good writer or speaker, and you are passionate about what you are doing. However, be careful that you do not engage in gossip. While this page loves to talk and to be in the know, it is important that you use this talent to benefit others, rather than to create negativity. You may also want to be careful about what you say to whom, as you may be more prone to sharing confidential information about yourself. So, protect your privacy. And you may need to first ground your thoughts, before speaking, in order to ensure that you do not later regret what you have said. The Page of Swords can also stand for a child or young at heart adult whose relationship to you involves truthfulness, the search for information and new ideas, or matters of the mind and intellect. You may have your moments with this page, as the swords often indicate a level of tension or conflict, and this bundle of energy may sometimes prove too much to handle. If you need to, give yourself a break from this youthful person, and return with fresh eyes. They do have a lot to share with you, and despite their inexperience, they may actually teach you something about yourself. You need to remain open to their high levels of energy and enthusiasm to learn more about the world. As a child, the Page of Swords encourages you to have fun with mental activities of all kinds including learning, exploring, and researching. Enjoy the world of thought your mind can open to you. The downside of the Page of Swords is the turbulent nature of intellectual discovery and inspiration unchecked by experience or wisdom. This page seems to be either on the defensive, protecting his ideas, or on the offensive, looking for some victim of the double-edged sword of his mind. Perhaps he is seeking a confrontation in the intellectual sense or has the desire to prove himself mentally superior to others. The trouble is that he does not yet have the maturity to express himself in a way that is always constructive, and may come across as oppositional or just too in your face. The eighth card for you is representing, the external influences that can be the people energies or events which will affect the outcome of your situation and are beyond your control. Your card is The Fool Your friends and people around you are leading their easy lives without much stress or pressure. You may have meetings or go to parties with your friends and have a good time with them. You may have new friends but your relationship with them may not be a strong one. Your work at this time is boring and you may not be enthusiastic to pay much attention to it. However, as people around you are keeping an eye on you, you should try to overcome your sluggishness. For finance, you may have expenses on traveling. Be careful of spending money too easily. This is a card of potential, new beginnings and innocence. This card shows the highest potential for your life, reaching a state of renewal and new beginnings, where each day is an adventure and each moment is lived to the fullest. The Fool card represents the beginning of all creativity and a desire to accomplish a new goals, or to, at least, start the process of working towards those goals. The Fool indicates that anything can happen and the opportunities are just waiting to be taken advantage of. The Fool represents the need to set forth on a new journey, one that is completely unknown and will take you to uncharted territories. The Fool is all about new experiences, personal growth, development and adventure. The Fool card asks you to take a leap of faith and to trust in the universe in that if you begin a new journey, you will find success. This Fool lives a carefree life, free from worry and anxiety. He does not seem to mind if he does not really know what lies ahead. The Fool card may represent a choice to be made, one of vital importance. 
However, there are always many different options available and the choice must be made wisely. If you are facing a decision or moment of doubt, the fool encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart no matter how crazy or foolish your impulses may seem. This is a time when you need to truly believe and have faith in where the universe is taking you. The Fool is an excellent card to meditate on if you are experiencing a lot of fear in your life. The Fool enhances courage, risk taking and the creative expression needed to open up new areas in your life. The Fool is always whole, healthy and without fear. He is the spirit of who we are the spirit expressed and experienced as wonder, awe, curiosity and anticipation. We never know what is in the future but like the fool we must blindly go forward. You need to trust that you are a spirit born into flesh to enjoy life and grow in experience. Take a chance and see what happens. The ninth card for you is representing, your hopes, wishes, dreams and fears. Your card is the chariot. You are determined and ambitious to achieve what you want. You have your own ego and willpower to overcome, and never consider possibility but just only go ahead. The good point is that you will be very energetic during this time. For work, you may feel very tired but still determined to achieve it which will give a good result to you as it will increase opportunity to success. Same for love. If you like anyone, you will go ahead and make it clear to flirt that person. Or you may keep pestering until that person yields to you. You will be successful at pursuing your goals, so long as you maintain focus, determination and confidence in your abilities. You need to focus completely on the task at hand, get in the race and win it. You have to dominate and beat the competition. You must cultivate the ability to withstand the rigors of what is required. In fact, striving towards your goal can be as satisfying as attaining it. This is a time to be strong and in control. You must also draw upon your willpower and self-discipline. You may be wondering if you should pursue a plan or continue a project but you will be driven to do so, and your perplexing dilemma will be resolved for the time being. The chariot requires you to assert yourself and be bold. You may need to look after yourself at this time and be confident in expressing your needs and wants, otherwise you will not get your way. You need to have faith in yourself and know fundamentally who you are and what you stand for, thus building off the personal belief systems and values established through the lover's card. Sometimes. The chariot asks you to come to terms with your own aggressive impulses. Aggression is part of human nature, part of your innate survival mechanism. Aggression cannot be simply suppressed, to do so will only turn it inward on yourself, leaving it to manifest itself in the form of physical illness. Aggression can be very destructive but it is also a powerful energy that can be channeled creatively, this is a time when you need to be the master of your emotions and curb any impulses or anger. You need to show who is the boss and achieve control of the situation but this will also require you to be in control of yourself. The last card for you is representing, the outcome. Your card is, the sun. In summary, this card signifies luck and fulfillment. If you have any problem, it will be resolved positively. Also if you anticipate anything, you will be fulfilled. For work, you will be successful and have a progress in your career. For finance, you will have a financial luck, and higher income. If you ever have any financial problem, you will have a better cash flow. Your family life will be full of happiness and fulfillment. If you are married, you may have a child. If you are single, you will find a new love, meet someone you like and tend to develop a relationship. For health, there will be no problem. Thus, this is a card of all the luck for you. The sun gives you strength and tells you that no matter where you go or what you do, 
your positive and radiant energy will follow you and will bring you happiness and joy. People are drawn to you because you can always see the bright side and you bring such warmth into other people's lives. This beautiful, warm energy is what will get you through the tough times and will help you succeed. You are also in a position where you can share your highest qualities and achievements with others. Radiate who you are and what you stand for. Shine love on those you care about. You have an innate sense of confidence right now. Life is good, the sun is shining and you are on your way to achieving your goals. The sun represents that feeling of getting up on Saturday morning, with the whole weekend ahead of you, and you open the curtains with the sun shining on your face. Having struggled through the shadow sides you now know yourself and know where you are heading, and the sun illuminates your path. The sun is a yes to life. It brings with it luck, wellness, positive consciousness, enthusiasm, attainment and success. It is about embracing your destiny and giving it everything you have got. If you have been having a difficult time, the sun brings you the message you have been waiting for, that things are going to get better, a lot better. You know that the rain clouds will soon give way to the rays of the sun and you will feel warmed to the soul once again. The sun is also an energetic card. It reflects a time when you can expect to experience an increase in physical energy, vitality and general positivity. You are bursting with enthusiasm, feeling invigorated and enjoying a wonderful sense of good health. The sun reflects the value of simplicity. No elaborate scheming is required but instead, plain and simple is the best option. Experience the freedom and liberation associated with living the simple life and doing what you enjoy most. Get back to the simple pleasures such as spending time with loved ones, getting back to nature, or simply reading a book in your garden. Expect a boost in the right direction and trust that work can and will be done, with relative little effort. This is a time when you will feel enlightened. You can finally see the path ahead of you and through the hardship you have endured, you have attained a new level of insight and understanding. You may have even had a personal or intellectual breakthrough where you have finally unlocked the key to your fundamental being. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Lovers This card signals that a significant relationship is on your mind It may be romantic in nature, or it may be an intimate but platonic friendship Communication is key right now, and it's important to develop trust within the relationship You can safely share your feelings with someone close to you it's also time to make an important decision about your life. The conclusions you reach now greatly influence your future, so it's important to weigh your options carefully. Make sure your choices are thoroughly considered and that you're able to act upon them. Additional meanings of this card, the need for balance. A return to good health. Marriage and weddings. Archangel Raphael. In addition to being the angel of health and traveling, is the patron of soulmates. Raphael can help with significant relationships, including romance, friendship, business, and family. He can also help you manifest the soulmate partnership of your dreams. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading, just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.